Look, we gonna to come get into ready the to light. <laughs> Look at Nia. Doing my hair. Say hey to the vlog. Hey vlog. I'm the bridal job. party. Looking good, honey. Thanks. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is nandi and if you do know me welcome back okay so i am filming a weekly vlog for you guys and guess what as you guys know if you've been following along my cousin her wedding is this friday okay today is monday august 7th and it is 10 50 a.m so i woke up like 10 o'clock i let myself sleep in because i just knew that this would be such a crazy week um the wedding is on friday thus the rehearsal and everything's on thursday thus we have to wednesday to get our lives together hair nails everything i have to get my whole entire life together you guys so this is my first time actually being in a wedding and also my first time as a bridesmaid so i'm super excited happy to join my cousin in this process and just you know it's something we'll never forget um so today though we have a lot to do okay also before we get into the vlog go ahead and pause right here and subscribe to the channel guys subscribe 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 look the content gonna keep coming so just go ahead and subscribe but anyway now that we're all subscribed okay today let's see what we have to do i have a whole to-do list on my phone for this entire week like <sighs> So today on the agenda, I have to go to the store. I have to run some errands real quick because there's some last minute things that I need. After that, I'm going to sit on the floor here and take my braids out. That'll be a few hours. Um, while I'm outside, yes, yeah, giving Starbucks. And then I have two meetings today as well. One with my website designer. And then I have another meeting, which is supposed to be our last bridal bridesmaid meeting tonight as well so that's what's on the agenda we're gonna go ahead and head out go to starbucks and get the rest of the things that we need and yeah i'm gonna take you guys along with me so let's go Oh, you guys, it is so bright. Okay, so we are at Target. Target drive through has been my new favorite thing to do because I don't know. I feel like if I'm not trying to spend a lot of money that I can just do the drive through drive up and they can bring me exactly what it is I order because if we go inside you already know that's $500 it don't make sense like I just need to stay in my car so but I only order one thing from here <clears throat> and I think the name of them are the little premier like protein shakes and I got them in the um, caramel flavor because I saw this hack on Pinterest I really like Pinterest I learn a lot on Pinterest but anyway it's a hack that if you put that mix with two shots of espresso from Starbucks I'm sure you can do one if you wanted to but in a cup full of ice they say that that's supposed to keep you full for a long period of time so we just left the house I didn't eat anything so I'm about to get this I'm gonna try the hack today we're gonna go to Starbucks, we're gonna get two shots of espresso over ice, and we're gonna pour the drink in there. And we're gonna see how long we stay full because I definitely need energy to take out all of these braids. 
I don't even know why I waited so last minute to take out these braids. But yesterday I was running errands. It's just a lot. But it's going to take me a few hours. Like, I guess these are kind of... I told her medium. I guess these are medium. Okay, so medium for me is probably going to be like five hours to take out and like detangle. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys I don't know what they're doing but I'm gonna go to Walgreens first after this and then we'll get our drink from Starbucks and then we'll go home and then we'll start taking out our braids so that's the plan uh, it is so hot this is not even enjoyable bad keys I should get a new brush. so many options I don't want to go to another store though so we got to make this work <sighs> I need to go home I'm like trying to blast this air I don't know if you guys can hear me or not but we got everything that we needed and in addition to regular stuff I also got two Red Bulls because I just feel like I'm gonna need it <laughs> like it just seems like honestly well, I'll be able to sleep tonight, but it seems like Wednesday, probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is giving no sleep. So I just got me some Red Bulls to be prepared. But yeah, I'm like not the little Walgreens guy trying to flirt with me. He was cute. He probably was like, he definitely younger than me. But you know, if you're going to flirt, at least be respectful with it. Okay. And I respect that. So... But I feel like I'm looking crazy right now. Alright guys, let's go to Starbucks. Let me tell you, this just don't make no sense to me at all. Why is the line? And it was longer than this. Obviously now I just pulled up closer to the window. But why is the line this crazy? It is 11.34 a.m. on a Monday. Like, I swear, nobody in Atlanta works anymore. I don't I just don't understand shouldn't people be at work well I know some people's lunch breaks start at like 11 30 ish right I guess 11 30 12 so maybe people are on lunch but this is just too much okay guys so we got our cup that's a lot of espresso we're gonna crash later but that's okay oh let's see what we need to do is get through right now okay what happens later we don't care about that right now okay let me see I just want to go ahead the Starbucks parking lot was too packed so I didn't um, get the chance to pour the protein in there so this is the protein that I'm talking about the protein shake so we're gonna see if this works because I don't want it's very hot I don't want the ice to melt so I'm like let me pull over and just do this real quickly oh okay if this works then I recommend everybody do it because 
it was only two dollars they didn't say I think we can pour it all in let's just do everything or almost everything but just for the espresso shots it was two dollars this sounds like an affordable hack if you ask me so let's use the straw to mix it up <laughs> I'm actually excited because I'm not the type of person to try like online hacks and stuff but I feel like this is a good hack already especially since it was two dollars <laughs> okay guys so this is what it looks like it looks you know regular coffee flavor you know I feel like it's gonna be great I'm scared I have to do a taste test okay let's see guys Wow. Tastes like coffee. Now, I will say if you like more of a stronger coffee taste, then you can use a little bit less of less of this cuz I poured almost everything in here obviously because I got a venti cup so it's still a hit if you ask me mm. a win is a win but really I tried it because I just want to be full I want to be full for a long time and I want to have energy Hence the espresso shots, okay? I'm not mad at it. Okay, so it is 1147. I will tell you guys how I feel in a few hours. I want to see if what they say is true. I want to see if I'm not hungry. All right, let's head home now and let's start this process of taking down our braids because we have a meeting at three o'clock. I'm just gonna start at the back of my head so I don't look too crazy for the meeting, but yeah, let's head home. Appreciate you, Shorty. 
the lighting is not the best here on the floor with Nandi, but you know, <sighs> we do what we can. We do what we can. But anyway, guys, talk to me, talk to me as if you could really talk back, but <laughs> I hope everyone has been having a great summer. Honestly, my summer has been very work filled. I feel like I've worked a lot this summer, more than anything. And um, other than that, I worked and I went on interviews. That pretty much, I feel like is the whole gist of my summer. I don't feel like taking this whole bun down. But I may have to because some things are <gasps> together. Also, let me know. Like, have you guys been enjoying my YouTube shorts? I'm trying to get better with like the short content and just having options. Options of content for you guys is pretty much what I'm trying to say. So let me know if you've been enjoying the shorts. I think they're cute though. I like them. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Let me know. Also let me know in general if there are any videos that you guys would like to see from me. I definitely have, you know, things in mind that I will be posting. So I'm excited for that. The um, NP Tips and Tricks playlist is going to be lit. Because when I tell you I just have banger after banger after banger dropping on that playlist. Like I think it's going to be a great resource for a lot of people. But yeah. Also, um... I don't know. I'm considering, would it be helpful for you guys if I had a scheduled, like, drop date and time? Like, you know, a lot of YouTubers upload on Sunday. So, I'm debating if I should have, like, you know, a scheduled day for you guys. I feel like if I did, it definitely would be either Sunday or Monday. And I was sort of leaning towards a Monday because I feel like literally everybody, like I said, I feel like everybody drops on Sunday. But let me know what would be most convenient for you guys. Which day? Let me know down below. It would definitely be evening time if I did, like probably like 8 or 9 p.m. But either Sunday or Monday, let me know. That way you guys will know when to come to my page for new videos. Let me know if that will actually be helpful for you guys. Because as of right now, I've just been dropping whenever. <laughs> like I've just been dropping videos whenever. Um, but these past two uploads, I dropped Sunday at 8 p.m. But let me know. I also have been considering, like I put on my community, I don't even know what they call it, the little community tab or whatever, basically where I talk to you guys um, here on YouTube. And I asked you guys about doing a Q&A. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. If you have just general questions to ask me. Um, I know as far as like some of the nurse practitioner content that people have asked me about so far. Their videos I already have written down to film for you guys. So those things are definitely coming. But I don't know if you guys have more like personal questions for me. Or just overall general questions about some things if so then you know i can definitely film a q and a for you guys if not i've also considered 
either going live one day on either on YouTube or on Instagram to just answer questions that you guys have. I don't really go live on Instagram that much, but I would definitely do it for you guys. If that's something you're interested in as well, just let me know because I'm really trying to bond with you guys and like, you know, I want you guys to have ample opportunities to ask me questions and just like get to know me more on a personal level. So let me know if you would rather, you know, a Q&A or a live um, because I can always have you guys vote on here on YouTube. I can do a poll and see what you guys would prefer and we can also do that. And I know I have a lot of students on here as well as like working nurses. So whatever would be most convenient for you guys, just let me know. Because I definitely understand being busy. I understand the school commitment, the homework. Trust me, I get it. I get it. I get it. So I just want to make sure that I give you guys options, you know. Because I love having options. that you are prepared to have your nails French, French, French tip white, um, and your toenails French tip white or all white. Um, and then you have your lounge pajama set for wedding day. Um, and just making sure everyone is good. Um, and then I can answer any questions that you may have. Um, I know, Nia, you asked a question about the hotel, um, and so I do have an answer for you. I just I checked in with the family just to make sure. So I do have an answer for you. And so, yeah, that's, that's really the purpose of this call. Um, and so everyone can please just speak so that I can just make sure I get, again, your verbal response that you are all good to go. Um, and that you're prepared to be at the wedding venue at 4.15 on Thursday um, and that you understand what time your makeup appointment is on Friday. All right, guys, I finished taking out my braids. Are you guys ready for the hair reveal? Let's count down, shall we? Three, two, one. Oh my God. Ah! Oh gosh. When I tell you, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. So, yeah, I'm about to just detangle my hair again. And then I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna put my hair in some little doo-doo braids. Um, just so that you know <laughs> just so that it doesn't look like this okay but i'm gonna detangle again and i prefer like i'm tender headed and i kind of prefer to just detangle my own hair like i rather inflict pain on myself than others inflict pain on me and so i'm gonna just detangle put them in some small sections like put um part my hair in some small sections and detangle again and put my hair in some little doo-doo braids and yeah this was part one of maintenance this week tomorrow we're gonna get our nails done and just yeah continue throughout the week getting our lives together guys <sighs> mm, mm, mm. But I'm cramping, so after I do these little doo-doo braids, I'm going to take a shower. Um, I need to find some Motrin, and I need some soup and some tea, and I'm going to lay down and call it a day. So that's the plan, but I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Good morning, guys. You can't see my face because I'm looking crazy, but anyway... It is the next day. It is Tuesday, August 8th, and it is 
13 well it's not the morning anymore it's the afternoon 12 13 p.m i'm about to get dressed to go get my nails done this is the fit um it's giving very casual okay so i have this t-shirt i don't even know where i got this um biggie t-shirt from but i love it it's one of my favorites just some little leggings and a hat because you know my hair is going through a crisis right now so we're about to go get our nails done and then we're gonna come back home okay guys i am about to walk into the nail salon and i literally let myself fall off like i'm gonna show you the before because this is just outrageous look at my nails they are so grown out and I do SNS, like I broke this one. It's just, you know, ugh, you know? And I cracked like four toenails when I was in Arizona doing what? I don't know. But I'm about to get my life together. We have to have French nails on our fingers. And then we have to do either white or French on our toes for the wedding. So. Let's go get right. Yeah. Uh. 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 Try to tell him I'm back again. I just did it on accident. Go past the friend. Gotta stay on they ass again. Try to tell him I'm back again. I just did it on accident. Try to tell him I'm back again. Try to tell him I'm back again. I've been thanking God for the day. I think I'll take the cops on the chase. I know I could've died in a cage. Fuck that. Who gon' ride for the fade? Uh, standing on top of the mantle. No, I did it all for the family. Gang gon' blow like a candle. <sighs> tell them bitches pipe down. I'm the nigga right now. I can shut the shit down. I can get your gun down. I just wanna up the score. Ask Shotty what she blushing for. All right, guys, this is the after. Like, amazing. Chef's kiss. And I just have white on my toes. And they were able to fix all the toenails that I had that were cracked. So, love that for me. And I think I said earlier, but I can't remember. But the person I go to, the guy, he does... Um, the dip powder so I get S and S French it's not gel but yeah love it let's get some food and we're gonna head home good morning guys it is Wednesday August 9th and it is 9 57 a.m. so I just got I'm still looking crazy guys so don't mind me but I just got to <laughs> Um, my hairdresser's place so I'm about to go inside and she's gonna wash and blow dry my hair probably do deep condition probably do a trim you know all of that good stuff but I'm actually getting my hair styled tomorrow so that means after this we are going home well I need to run a few errands but after that we're going home we cannot be anywhere near humidity near outside near heat near nothing we need to be indoors with the air for the rest of the day until we get our hair styled tomorrow but all right, guys, it's what What time is it? Oh, I'm perfect because my appointment is at 10. So let me go ahead inside and I will see you guys probably as I run errands or when I get home. Right off the bat, I'm gonna go and got dollars, but I ain't gonna sweat you, baby. I'm gonna let you catch up with your game. Her fist style. Wait a minute. The way you move that girl, you done got my heart all in. Okay, guys. You know, the wedding that is literally two days away is Wednesday, two days away. You know? Wedding makes you think about love, which is why I've been playing all these songs. So, whew, I'm just a love song type of mood, you know? That's what it's giving, love song type of mood. But I'm a simp anyway, okay? I probably don't even need no DJ for my wedding. <laughs> I am the DJ. No, I'm just playing. Okay, guys, but anyway, 
so I'm at the alteration place once again because I dropped off a dress that I'm wearing on Saturday so the wedding is Friday but Saturday my cousins are having a get-together at their house with just like family and that's gonna be lit so I got a dress alter because you know I'm super short so I got a dress alter to wear on Saturday so that's what I'm about to pick up and then after that um I have to go to the cleaners to drop off my actual like bridal dress yeah my bridesmaid dress that's what I mean so I have to drop that off so it can get um, steamed so it can look nice for Friday so we're just outside running errands so let me go get this dress and then we'll go to the house get the other dress and you know BRB okay guys it is later let's see it is 2 30 so i came home took a shower ate something i put my hair in this little bun bun <laughs> cute right but yeah guys <clears throat> if you haven't watched my recent np tips and tricks videos then you wouldn't know this but i can tell you guys now i have secured my very first nurse practitioner job and i actually have the contract here i'm about to sign the contract guys ah! it's just a piece of paper but i'm scared ah! okay i read the contract and everything i read it a while ago already um sent the physician who i'm working for I already sent her my question she replied back to me so all of that was done prior to me signing this contract right now <sighs> it's just like a crazy moment like i'm really just taking it in like whew. I just like I can believe it but I can't believe it you know what I mean I'm about to set up my tripod to also film this at the same time as I sign the dotted line let's see let me use yeah I have my little tripod here but I'm gonna get it from this angle let me see oh you guys this is just <laughs> This is crazy, okay? This is crazy, like, I'm just, wow. Like, it's not that serious, but it is, you know? Like, let me see what angle I wanna get it from. I'm gonna move this out the frame. I just can't believe this, you guys. <laughs> like, oh my God. But this is like, this is a historical moment in my life anyway. This is a historical moment in my life, which is why I'm recording it for you guys. I'm recording it on my phone here on my tripod. It's just like, <sighs> so many emotions, like, wow. Okay, let's make sure we got the angle. I think this is recording on the phone. Let me bring you guys down so you can also see. Uh, all right, guys, we're going in. Well, guys, we did it. So I do need to, I think, scan it, upload it and send it to the physician. Whew, I'm out of breath because I ran downstairs real quick. But anyway, in the meantime, guys, I have so many packages. Do you see, look at all that stuff up here. Look, I can't even point, that's crazy. But I have so many packages. So I feel like this would be the perfect time to do an unboxing, a little haul. And let me see, everything, Everything but one item is from Amazon. So I guess we can open up the first item that's not from Amazon. And this is from the brand 
The Mantra Co. I don't want to show my address, but this is the brand. And yeah, I just got a journal from them. And it's so cute because it's like neutral. Look at it, you guys. Isn't it so cute? Let me take out the plastic. I really want to get back into journaling, which is why I bought this. Because it is, of course, aesthetically pleasing. But, yeah. Package. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. So cute, right? It says, Soul Work Journal. Let's open it up. Oh, and this is why I got this. Okay, let me show you guys. This is exactly why I got this. Oh, so cute. I'm in love. Okay. Oh, got to tighten, you guys. But this is the journal, as you see here. But I got it because when you open it, like it has... Okay, so a place for us to put our name, everything. Okay, cute, cute, cute. But look, they have like quotes. On some of the opposite pages and then just regular line pages isn't that so cute this one says I am about to walk into the most thriving and soul nourishing chapter of my life period okay oh I love this journal I just think it is so cute oh yeah I love it so we got that. That's the first item. Let's get into the other stuff because I got a lot of things. A lot of things. <laughs> and some of it is for the wedding, but some of it is for me. Okay. Actually, majority of it is probably for the wedding. How do I open this box? Oh, yeah. I needed this. What is this? This was the charger. So I got um, a charger for my camera um, for the battery. So this one will charge like three at a time. And I should have got that a long time ago, honestly. But, you know, it's all good. A win is a win. A win is a win. What? Do they give you batteries too? <gasps> no way. Wait, wait, wait. What? I did not know that. I'm trying to open things carefully because, you know, I got my nails done and we got to be perfect at least till Friday. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I don't have time for this. What? They give you batteries too. <gasps> I did not know that. Oh, we lit. Look, we are lit. So, they literally they give you the charger itself but it also comes with literally three batteries and they give you the cord you need and everything oh i did not know it came with batteries that is very nice of them that is very nice of them oh yeah so the vlog's gonna be vlogging okay the vlog's never gonna stop oh i love that that's so nice <gasps> that makes me very happy I feel like I got something free because I didn't know that the batteries came with it oh this is lit oh wow that's so nice so now I have three additional batteries which means I have a total of six batteries now because I already had three of my own this came in perfect time too I feel like this battery about to die any second now. <laughs> wow, you guys. That makes me happy. And that was a good price for that. Because I feel like I only paid like, was it $20? But for, for that charger plus three batteries, that's great. That is amazing. Who knew? So, love that for us put things in the trash as I go so the cleanup is easier anyway guys next thing that I got 
which I should have got a long time ago. I got this case for my camera. It is a brown. And if you guys didn't know, it's in the description of every single YouTube video I upload. But my camera is a Sony ZV-1. And I really love this camera. No complaints. So I got this for it because, listen, I realized, I was like, man, my camera's been everywhere. My camera's been to New York. My camera's been to Arizona. My camera's been all over Georgia. Like, I need a case to protect it because these cameras, they are an investment. I'm like, shout out to the people who have two, three cameras because they are expensive. And like I said, though, I feel like it is an investment and, you know, we're doing big things, period. Oh, this is so, and they give you a glass screen protector. I'm just getting all types of free things because I didn't know that this came with it either. And it says two pieces. Chef's kiss. Thank you, God. <laughs> and they give you one of these little cloths to like clean off your stuff. I'm just I'm just so happy. That's beautiful. I'm about to put this case on after this, after we finish with this haul. So case was from Amazon. Everything that I'm showing you right now is from Amazon. Next package. Oh, this is my hair. <laughs> this is my hair, you guys, that I need for my ponytail tomorrow. What else did I get? Oh, I got a new phone case. <laughs> I'm laughing because I really didn't need this phone case, but I really wanted it. But also because, let me show you guys in a second what I mean so this is the phone case it's kind of cute it's cute it's given neutral it's kind of hard to tell but there are like waves on the back I think that's cute we're gonna put that on right now but anyway this phone case I really do like as you guys can see what it looks like it's like a little mirror and it has hearts on it but in my car I use like what is it even called? But I use one of those things that like I sit my phone on for like my GPS because my car doesn't have like a built in GPS system thing. But anyway, this because the hearts are like popping out, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't allowing me to hold up my phone on the little holder or whatever. So it made it more difficult. So I need like a flat back. Like it just kept like I'll be driving and this would just fall off. Like I need to know where I'm going. <laughs> so I got this new case. We're going to put that on in a sec. We got our hair period. I love that for me. Let's see what's next. I really went in. Okay. What else did I get? Oh, I think these are the earrings. So... Let me open it and see. So for my dress for the rehearsal dinner, I couldn't figure out or decide whether or not I wanted to wear gold or silver. So I got both just in case because I'm like, we're out of time and we need to know what we're wearing. Okay. So I ended up getting the Amazon Bottega dupes so I can show you guys. I got a gold pair and then I got... Come on, a silver pair. So let me show you guys. Let's see if it shows better in the light. So this is the silver pair. And then I also got a gold pair. Super cute and affordable. So we love that. I just dropped. I said one of them. This is so weird. I think they put the backs like they lay the backs in there. Weird. I think I may have dropped one. But 
but I mean, it is what it is. I have um, other backs if need be. Okay, cool. So we got our earrings and I think I'm leaning towards wearing silver. I didn't show you guys the dress that I'm wearing to the rehearsal dinner. Did I show you my blue dress either? Oh, I didn't show you guys any of the dresses. So we'll just, I'll show you those as the time comes. I also got these white shoes to change into at the reception because nobody plans on being in heels all night, okay? And my dress is ivory i don't think i showed you that showed you my bride i didn't show you nothing i don't think but my bridesmaid's dress is ivory so i got those white shoes flats to change into happy about that and then i have one more package Ooh. this is oh it's very hard to see because it's white So these are the pajamas that we are supposed to be wearing as we get our makeup done on Friday. So I'm getting my makeup done early in the morning, like at 10 a.m. And we all have the same matching set. So let me make sure my little desk, okay. But it's cute. The top is like long sleeve. It looks like this. And then it comes with shorts that look like this. Also from Amazon. Everything is from Amazon but the journal. So, yeah, guys. That was my last package. I feel like that was a successful Amazon haul, you know? Okay, guys. I am back. It is, let me see what time it is. It is 7.51 p.m. And as you see, I just laid out everything that I am packing. And it it looks like I'm going away for a full trip. This is just, <laughs> this is literally just everything I need to like get dressed, get ready for being a bridesmaid. It's crazy, you know? And I'm gonna put everything, I have this bag here, this duffel bag. I'm going to put everything in this bag. Do I have a place to even sit it to show you guys? This is what it looks like. It is a duffel bag from Cowpack. The same people who made my luggage set. If you saw my Arizona travel vlog, I got a new luggage set and I got this duffel from the same brand. So there you go. And yeah, guys, I'm about to just put everything in there and call it a night because I am sleepy. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. It's Thursday, August 10th. It's rehearsal dinner day. And I'm very upset. So, a hairstylist was supposed to do my hair today at exactly 11 a.m. The girl texted me last night at exactly 11.16 p.m. asking if she could reschedule to Friday because she's not feeling well. The lack of professionalism with these Atlanta hairstylists, hairstylists, lashes, anything, anything beauty, it's just beyond me, beyond me. And this is not the first time I've gone to this girl before. Um, like I said, you can look on my Instagram. You can see exactly who I'm talking about if you want to. But I've gone to this girl before and she just, if I'm being honest, I just feel like she only wants to be a celebrity hairstylist. If you look on her Instagram, she does a lot of celebrities. She does YouTubers too, but you got to be like big, big, big gun. Okay. Like a top dog YouTuber. Like she used to do Kyra's ponytails and stuff all the time. So if you live in Atlanta, you know, you know, and I'm just like, that's fine. If that's what you want to be and you don't want to do regular people, that's cool. But 
brand yourself as so and don't accept other clients because this, every single time it's time for her to do my hair or something else she'll be like oh i'm not feeling well <laughs> girl be for real and because this is not the first time she's done it like i don't feel like you're sick <laughs> like and rehearsal starts at 4 15 p.m it's about to be 10 a.m so i need to start getting dressed for rehearsal probably around two to be honest so that means i have between 10 a.m and 2 p.m to find somebody to get find somebody to do my hair i haven't even had my coffee yet i'm just waking up to this nonsense can barely speak <sighs> And it's just like frustrating. So I'm gonna try to go to um, the same person that my cousin is going to, but their shop doesn't open up till 10. So I can't, I tried to call at like 9.50, but it's going to voicemail. So I have to wait until they open up, I guess, to give them a call. Um, I'm just like, never again. I literally will never be giving her another cent of any of my money ever again. Ever again. And the sad part is I really like her work, but she's young and she's unprofessional. Like, never again. So now you got me over here stressed. And that's what people don't understand either. Maybe some people do, but girls... We plan stuff ahead of time. And you would think that another woman would know this. Another girl would know this. Like, I'm not coming to you to spend no type of money just for funsies. Like, usually I go to specific people for, like, big events. Because if it's regular, regular, trust me, like, I will just wear some braids and be fine. But, like, if it's, like, a special event or something like that and I'm actually trying to style my hair nice for an event or something then that's different like so no you can't just cancel on me the night before and really even if you really weren't feeling well you should have texted me yesterday like before 5 p.m definitely before 11 because how is that giving me any time to find somebody else if you really are feeling sick like i just can't And on top of that, it's pouring down raining outside. Like, I don't even know if you can hear the rain in the background. Because I can hear it, but I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It is pouring. And my dress for the rehearsal dinner is long. And obviously, we're supposed to be wearing our heels and stuff so we can practice walking in them. It's just a mess. Like... I really wanted to wake up on some positive energy, but that really just blew my morning. I'm not even going to lie. <sighs> All right, guys. Let me try to find somebody else to do my hair, and I will talk to you later. I swear, you guys, I'm literally, I'm about to lose it. Like, I'm trying so hard not to freaking cry right now because I'm just overwhelmed now. So I found somebody else to do my hair. I had to come all the way to Gwinnett. And now I put in the address. And I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes Apple Maps will literally take me to a ditch. Like the location can be here and Maps is going to take you someplace else. So now I'm just in my car. Who knows where I am? I'm downloading um, Waze. Because I don't have time for this. Like, this is just too much. All for a ponytail, bro. Like, a ponytail. Something told me just leave my house early, which I did. It is 10.59. My appointment's at 11.30. Like, I'll talk to you guys when I get to the destination. Let me tell you guys something. This thing is a little, I gotta clean it off. Oh, it's because I put the protector on. 
let me tell you guys something. You know what also annoys me about this situation? After all of that, the girl's going to text me, right? <laughs> the girl texts me. I don't even know if I read the text, but I'm going to read the text. The girl texts me. She's like, hey, this is such and such. Are you able to reschedule to Friday? I'm currently not feeling well. I reply back, hey, unfortunately, I'm not. I have a wedding to attend this evening, so I really need my hair done. She never replied to that. So once it hit 10 o'clock, I was like, baby, I don't have time. I literally called my cousin, found somebody else to do my hair, and I was like, it's fine. I found someone else to do it no response so after all that not only did you inconvenience me but you don't even have the decency to say i'm sorry girl that's just mind-blowing to me and it's very you know it's low-key smart for a lot of these girls like they don't have like a yelp page or anything so i'm like yeah i can go on her instagram and complain and comment but she can just delete the comment. You know what I'm saying? So literally all I could do is like, I don't know, put a post on my story. Like it's not, it's really like, it's just, it's horrible. But that was my last time dealing with her because I just think that is just, that is crazy. That is so crazy. But anyway, I'm done talking about that because I'm trying to not be angry anymore. I'm about to go in here. Let me show you guys. This is the salon I'm at. See if we can zoom you in. And I'm literally just getting a sleek ponytail. So even if that girl really was sick, like be for real, that would have took her an hour to do. And at this point, you shouldn't have text me last minute anyway. So, all right, but I'm about to go inside. I'll let you guys see the after, and um, yeah, I also want to go inside. Let me see. I don't know if I see my cousin's car or not. I'm going to go see if my cousin's inside, and um, yeah, get my hair done. I'll let you guys see what it looks like afterwards. You guys can see me a little bit in this corner. Hey guys, we're back. It is 4.15 p.m. I just arrived at the venue where we're having the wedding tomorrow. I'm gonna see if somebody can get some pictures of me. We'll see, because I really like my dress. Um, see my hair. She did a good job. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some pictures or somebody can just get a full like video so you guys can see my whole fit. And yeah, let's go ahead and head inside the venue though, and I'll see you there. Is say hi to Haley. Hey to Jane. We're so excited. We're the first ones here, you guys. So yeah, honestly, shocking. We're, we're in, in the, the chapel. <laughs> we're just okay. waiting now. <laughs> we're all gonna change into our shoes. I like to be late. This is why Jane. This is that why because no one's here. No, you did, I'm not missing you did the right thing. thing. You did the right thing because traffic is unpredictable. Like you try to be late and you end up being two hours behind. Yeah, like how far was this from now? Like forty minutes. There is there is stuff back here. Say hi, Gina. Hi. She always be running from the wall. Yeah, like, like I want to see more. Hey, can you show me my dress? I'm gonna just do a little twirl. Give girl. us an OTT. I think this is where we're gonna be. Maybe girl, I don't even know where I got Dress is from Bloomingdale's. Okay, cute. Shoes are Steve Madden. Okay. Okay. Bling, I don't know. Earrings, Amazon. Period. Let's get into these earrings. Period. Bracelet. That bracelet's cute. I know. I don't remember where I got these. Oh, from. I love this. It's so cute. cute. Yeah. What's okay, okay, hair, sleep to the Okay, details. Yes. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you. Oh, that's a Okay, so somebody's got to be here to help her. Correct. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Because the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one
say. Because <laughs> my baby over here, like. <laughs> together I feel like there's been so many versions of ourselves I'm so happy that we're still in each other's lives that I can support you um but yeah just to speak to your growth like you know we really we've been with each other through a lot of moments and I want to say that I feel like you've triumphed so much just like in life and just Growth has always been at the forefront of your mind. And I think even outside of like thinking about marriage and relationship, I think you just wanting to be the best you has always like fueled your path. Um, but yeah, I just wanna say that life is gonna get more beautiful and I'm happy for both of you. And, um, I feel like man, you're like a kindred spirit because um, I know anybody Tati has brought like around me like I always love them and we always get along like we had a great bachelorette trip and I feel similar about like your circle of friends like I know everybody who surrounds both of you is like a stand-up person an amazing person um, so yeah I'm happy to be here happy to meet everybody and celebrate you guys Good morning, you guys. It is wedding day. <sighs> Gosh, I'm excited. It is Friday, August 11th, and it is 7.33 a.m. So I am about to go to the hotel. So we have a hotel where all the ladies are getting our makeup done. So I'm about to head there, but I'm gonna eat breakfast first. My makeup appointment is at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna go there early, beat traffic and everything. And yeah, we're gonna eat, we're gonna do makeup, and then we're gonna get into all of the festivities and everything that's going to be planned today. So super excited to share with you guys. This is gonna be a good vlog, I feel it in my soul. But anyway, let's head to the hotel. Okay, I got you. Hey! Oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> no, you're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, Look, we're gonna get ready to the so. light. Good, honey. Yeah, 
gotta do a U turn. Yeah, that's what she used. See, I went to somebody else for a ponytail last time, and everybody does different methods. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Then we're gonna do. Oh, PJ says first and then dress. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. See y'all later. All right. Love you. See you there. Y'all see, I'll be following you shortly. Okay, perfect. Right, because you want them in the pajama okay. pictures, right? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. Oh, time. so we're staying in this. Okay. Bit. Let me get a pen. Okay. Is there more left, right? No. I think Mia and Haley should still be here. Okay. Beautiful. That's better? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We're on our way to the venue. Ah! I don't even know what time it is. Oh, gosh. It's 12 25. Um, I'm not sure where he parked it. He parked so, it. So, see you guys there. All right, guys. We made it to the venue. This is the bridal suite. I'm sorry. No, you're good. The girls are girling. <laughs> Touch-ups. <laughs> you said, uh-uh, honey. Yeah, I don't Sometimes I wanna be your love. Sometimes I wanna be your friend. Used to play back then, now you all grown up like Groovy Love. 